Hey, 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 so episode nine of the Performance Recap. We're gonna talk about adult training. Now, I'm gonna keep it general, but somewhat specific. Um, because number one, at our gym, we're starting a strength camp, so we're really trying to get in a, you know, a few more adults, because we have a lot of athletes, you know, so you know, trying to open up the doors to our athletes' parents. Uh, I get this question a lot, you know, uh, you know, I work at a school, and you know, I had a, you know, the superintendent asked me this question, like, what do you do for adults? And you know, it's, it's kind of, the, it's very similar to what we do with athletes. Um, but again, it's, it's less specific to this, you know, demanding action in the sport, right? You know, a basketball player is going to jump up really high, going to land, going to pivot, got to sprint, you know, got to box out, got to do things with the basketball, got to have good footwork, got to be able to have this reactive strength ability, right? For adults, it's, it's more general, right? Adults are, their goals are specific, losing weight, gaining, you know, gaining muscle, increasing strength, feeling great, increasing energy, um, you know, you know, increase, improving mood. Um, you know, so those are, their goals are specific, but the training is more of a general preparation, generalized movement, checking off these fundamental boxes. I say it all the time, you know, that's what we're focusing on, checking off boxes. Um, because the, the myth of strength training is, yeah, I don't want to get hurt. You know, I, why should I be squatting? Well, if you really think about what you do every day, you squat, you hinge, you lunge, you reach, you push, you pull. If you're a parent, you've spent years and years carrying your kids, right? So that's rotary stability. That's core. You know, that's why we do farmer's carries. That's why we do kettlebell off, kettlebell front rack carries, right? That's, those are all movements that need to be done to ensure, you know, health, you know, that you're not getting hurt. Um, so that's why, number one, adults need to train. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've heard an adult hurt their back when shoveling, um, <clears throat> they're in a men's league and they tear their Achilles because they didn't do anything for six months and they played in this men's league for football or soccer or basketball. Snap, the Achilles went out. You know, I don't know about you, but for me, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for a rolled ankle. I don't have time for an Achilles injury, right? So that's why I train my body like an athlete to be prepared for that. But also why I train, you know, it makes me happy. It improves my energy, improves my mood, um, allows me to do the stuff that I'm going to do with my kids. Um, you know, when I'm doing yard work, when I'm shoveling, when I'm bringing in groceries, my back doesn't hurt. You know, when I have to lunge down and pick up my kid or pick up the toys in the, the night, you know, I don't want my back or knees to be achy from that, right? So by strength training, if you're an adult, it's, it can help improve all that, right? So what we specialize in at my gym, at Fit Strength Performance, you know, our gym with the coaches, you know, is this general preparedness of movement. Right? We make sure that we're prescribing the right exercise for our adults. Right, So my favorite adult that comes into the gym is almost one that has been at other places. You know, Because some will go to large groups, some will try personal training, some will buy a program in line, you know, online, some will just do the circuit at the YMCA. And what I hear a lot is just, you know, I want to make sure that when I come to the gym, it's a well thought out workout that's going to ensure that I'm not going to get injured. I want to have someone hold me accountable and you know I like this smaller environment smaller group environment because I still get individualized attention the price point is very good it's not personal training is expensive um, so I like adults that have been to other places because what we do at fit strength we do it very well right we customize these plans and prescribe specific variations for that individual that fits the bill right if you look at one of my previous Instagram posts you know, I had a workout that mimicked what we'll do with adults. So we'll do total body workout, you know, one, because I don't want to do an upper day or lower day um, because I don't know about you, but if I got up for a 5.30 a.m. workout, I knew it was a leg day, that's going to be tough, right? So I don't want I don't want adults to pick only the upper body day because it's a little easier. Um, you know, so we do total body lifts. And if you look at I did a conventional deadlift. I like to change things up, you know, every 8, 12, 16 weeks giving a different movement. For adults, right, we'll do a trap bar deadlift or we'll do a barbell RDL, right? So we have different variations to meet the person where they're at based on their injury history, their movement, um, their movement ability, uh, you know, what they're comfortable with, their experience, you know, all these things. Um, but then we're gonna do a total body lift, so not every muscle group is gonna get absolutely exhausted. Doesn't mean you're gonna, that you're not gonna be fatigued, but we wanna make sure that when you leave the gym, you feel great and then you're not crazy sore the rest of the week because it is you know, minimal effective dosage providing enough stimulation so your body has to recover. And then when you focus on the other 165, you know, 165 hours in the week, if you train with us three days a week, 
um, you know, you're going to see those results. So nutrition, water, exercise, um, focusing on your mind, doing all those things will help maximize your goals. All right. So just an example of what a workout would look like is we would prep the body with our movement prep, you know, get the hips going, ankles going, hamstrings going, calves going, low back going, upper back going, arms going, chest going, get every, get that body temp up, you know, make sure you're moving well. And then we'll do our performance block, which will be something that primes you for the lift, right? So I, I, I like having adults do athletic stuff. So it could be a med ball throw, a sled push, um, and it could be some type of core rotary movement that's going to stabilize your, your low back and get the hips going. And then we'll go into our main block or main lift, which could be a trap bar deadlift, a squat variation, right? So it could be a safety bar squat. It could be a goblet box squat. It could be a two kettlebell front squat. And then, um, you know, if you come a third day, it'll be like a bench press variation, right? Multi-grip bench, close grip bench, dumbbell bench, Viking press, one of those movements. And then, you know, it would be a quad movement, a hamstring movement, an upper body push, an upper body pull, and then a, a core, a trunk movement. Um, and then we'll smidgen in something that's going to be a weak point. So a lot of times it's going to be upper back or hamstring. So we may end with some type of core, upper back, hamstring, arm movement, um, just to give you a nice little burn, a pump, and then improve some weak points. And that'll be our training session. You know, so training sessions will be no more than two, four, six, you know, seven, no more than seven or eight exercises and the training session 60 minutes, right? So we're dosing accordingly. We're trying to improve strength, muscular hypertrophy, increased body temp, increase heart rate, burn calories and sweat. That'll usually allow an adult to feel great, lose weight, gain muscle, get stronger, increase their energy. Right, so that's how we'll program for an adult training class. So I hope that helps. You know, I hope that gives you some info. So if you want to program for yourself, I hope that kind of breaks down, you know, how you can program so you're not overdoing certain hotspots um, and, and causing any injuries, but also reaching your goals. But if you're an adult that's interested in training with us, you know, send us a note, send us a DM on Instagram, fit strength underscore performance. Send us an email, info at fit-strength.com. Um, and, you know, we'll talk you through. We'll, we'll try to get you prepared for our classes. And we'll help you feel confident and comfortable that this is the right place for you and that you will reach your goals. Okay, so thanks for tuning in um, to this, this episode of our Performance Recap. Share with someone, like, comment, do all that great stuff to help, you know, spread the word of what we're doing. And I will see you next time.